Today I'll be teaching you how to make isopropyl alcohol. First off, I'm teaching you some safety stuff. You do not want to have any fire around the making of this alcohol extracted oil. Or if you're making butane extracted oil, you don't want any flame or spark around that, definitely. I'll be posting a tutorial on that later. <laughs> so, we've already soaked our material in the alcohol. We're using resin today instead of actual flour or leaf. So, a simple rundown of what I'm going to do is I'm going to filter this alcohol through a filter that I've made. You can make a filter out of a bottle or a cylinder shape. And you take a t-shirt or coffee filter or microfiber cloth as the filter. You can use cheesecloth as well. You would want to use a fine micron grade of cheesecloth though. Um, you can attach the rubber band to the bottom of the bottle, but I prefer to attach it to the top because the gravity of the alcohol running through it tends to pull it off if it's at the bottom. And you get a bunch of plant material into your oil, which you don't want. And you just wrap the rubber band around your filter like that. It helps if you cut the t-shirt down to fit around the bottle better and make you have to hold less stuff. And then you just pour the alcohol through. And drain it into a Pyrex dish. Make sure your dish is Pyrex, I'll be explaining that later during the evac process. Pull this shirt up some. It's not really draining out. Yeah, there you go. Sometimes it takes a while for this to drain out. Yeah, it was pretty thick. Drip. You actually don't want to blow through it because the force of you blowing things. through it tends to send what you're filtering through the filter. If you have to, you can stick your finger into the bottle and wiggle it around a little bit. I forgot to mention the type of alcohol you want to use for this is 90 or above. You can use 70, but the e well 70%, but the evap process is longer if you're using 70%. You can also set the filter like this, but be sure to avoid spilling it. Sometimes this takes a long time. I'm not going to be filming this whole thing. But. So, this is the resin after I've washed it. This is when what you get in your lungs when you're smoking resin. It's not really all that great. Like, as you can tell, this is a lot cleaner product than resin. <laughs>
The next step is the evaporation process. I usually just say evap for short. Um, you want to have it at a low heat. You want to let water boil in a frying pan. And the reason you want to use a Pyrex dish is because Pyrex is heat resistant where most glasses aren't. Look on the bottom of the dish and it'll say Pyrex. If you're an idiot, you won't know how to read it, but... <coughs> oh, so, I've turned the stove up just to boil the water, but when you were evapping the oil, you want to have it on a low temperature to avoid the THC burning up. <coughs> and you just put the dish in the water like so. Notice how it's even with the water line <coughs> for those idiots. <laughs> <coughs> this process can take, I've seen it take 15 minutes, I've seen it take 6 to 8 hours, it varies on how much you're making as well as what you're running. <coughs> and the temperature you're using. It evaps quicker at hotter temperatures, but you lose a lot of the THC that's active in the oil. When you lose or use a lower temperature, you don't lose as much THC. So if you look, you can see that it's starting to form a line of where the oil is, and that's where the alcohol is. You can even sort of see the fumes coming off of the alcohol. I would suggest not breathing that in. And I'm kind of fucking shit up right now, but you want to have a fan on high? And I kind of don't have that on right now, but I just turned it on. So, so we're cool. <laughs> we're not going to die, Jesus. If you're, you, like, doing large batches, you definitely want to have a fan on. This is a small batch. Oh, yeah, it's already in that Sexy. It helps to run the oil around the dish. It's pretty much evaporated because it's a small batch. So the evap time was really quick. But... It's almost done. So this is the oil after it's done. See it's gold color. Once you scrape it up it's not gonna have that anymore. All alcohol extracted oils turn black once you scrape them up or they have a really really dark green color and it's because they extract chlorophyll because of the water moisture in the alcohol which BHO doesn't have which is the reason BHO is cleaner oil and if you look you can also see other residues in it that's because we made it out of resin rather than weed but if you make it out of weed, you're not going to have as many of the carbon deposits in there, which is what the residue is. Okay, so we're going to scrape this up with razor blades. Obviously, you're going to want to be safe about this and try not to cut yourself. Have band-aids in case you do. No, man, you just... You just want to be like one of those like stupid ass emo fucks and just be like, oh, all into the oil. Don't That's what you want to do. Way. Pinch it from the but very, very you're pretty much gonna. Uh, this dish is pretty hot because it just came off the stove, obviously. But you just tilt the blade at an angle, approximately. That angle and just slide the razor blade across, and as you see, it just picks up the oil. 
that's how you you the easiest way to get it out. You can also take a rolling paper and wipe the dish with it, but that doesn't work as well unless the dish is warm. Yeah. He makes it look easy. It's really not as easy as he makes it look. Yeah, I've just been Let's doing this for like 12 years now, so <coughs> it's really easy for me. <laughs> Every once in a while I fuck up like I almost did there. <coughs> you just have to remember to angle the blade or you'll just smear the oil all over the place. Keep the oil on one side of the blade, it helps. Right? <coughs> yep. And then, I don't know if you have access to these little plastic containers in your area, because some states don't have these in here because of the lack of a medical marijuana policy, or just the lack of a legal policy. But if you have like a jar or something, you can use that. But, uh, oh yeah, you can get these from CoolJars.com. Hey, Kent, you wanna open this up? Here, just do this one. Grab this one. Oh shit! I didn't even realize that one was almost out. All right. Okay, so. You're going to take the other razor blade, you need at least two of them, sometimes you're going to use more because they get dirty and stuck together. But you take it and you keep it about at the same angle as the dish and you just get it all into one corner. This is the part that you have to be very careful about as you saw how it got to the end it just gave. Don't cut yourself, that's what he means. And no, it looks like your dreads are all in it and they're not. <laughs> Try to keep your hair away from it. I have dreads, so sometimes they get in the way. If you have long hair, it helps. It's best to tie it back. That was the whole reason I threw my hood on, but it kind of didn't work. But. That's the finished product. As you can tell, it turned black like I said it would. But, yeah, you, there's multiple ways you can use this. You can spread it on a rolling paper. You can put it on top of bowls. You can even dab it out of a setup like this. But I don't really recommend it because it tends to leave residues on the nail because of it's made of resin if you make it that way if you make it out of weed it also just leaves like chlorophyll and other plant matter on there <laughs> I mainly use these for BHA 